housemates, Bethany and Dylan, were sleeping on the first floor. Since then, we've learned Dylan was sleeping here on the second floor, along with Zanna and Ethan located here. Kaylee and Madison were located here on the third floor. The dog was located on the third floor and the room by itself. Let's move around and see through the walls into the kitchen to the back slider and take a look at the time frames. At 4.04 a.m., the suspect can be seen trying to park his car. At 4.09, approximately five minutes later, he enters the house through the back slider. At 4.18, he leaves the house after committing the crimes. At 4.20, he's caught on camera driving away at a high rate of speed. All of this only took nine minutes. Let's watch what that looks like. The suspect enters through the back sliding door. He pauses at the stairs to look around to make sure no one's up. He then turns and goes upstairs. The first bedroom he stops at and opens the door, he sees no one there. He continues to the next bedroom. Here we know what happens. Downstairs, Dylan is sleeping. The noise from upstairs wakes her up. She thinks it's Kaylee playing with her dog. She gets up and goes to the door and looks out. She sees nothing there. The suspect then continues down the stairs about three minutes later. He then heads to Zanna's room. Outside, there's a security camera picking up some whimpering, cries, and a thud at 417. We've learned that Zanna was found on the floor, which might explain the thud. Dylan again hears something and looks outside her door. She sees the suspect. He walks right past her and leaves. 